Hello, Wedding Gamer Social. My name is Bethany here with Diana. Hello. Hello. And we're in Bloodborne Amnesia the Dark Descent. And we're in a dark corridor and a dark house and a dark street and a dark alley. Fuck it, let's go. Dark world. Lovely. I just closed the door because that. Because it's skills, Diana. Let's turn on the shit over here with a hammer. Yep, that didn't work. Let's try over that instead then. Look, more. Oh, look. You could use that as a cock ring. That could be a bit more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? What's over here? Oh, look, it's. um. A rolling pin? No, I, I think that's, um, I'm not even going to say it. A lever. <laughs> a flow cycle rod. <laughs> it's definitely a rod. It's definitely a rod. It's never known it <laughs> Let's turn that on because I'm getting a bit fucked off by this amnesia shit. Read it. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure you use the steam engine to build up some pressure before channeling it into the machinery at the end of the lever. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Well, I guess we've got to do something with, oh my god, that is one giant dick. <laughs> Look at that. It's huge. I can't can lift it. Can I walk over to it? If I can lift this, I cannot lift it. I, I am not strong enough. So then give me for my dip. Oh, you'll put some oil in the uh... feck. We have plenty for once as well. I think we have a thing over here that so we might as well go and light this up. Yeah. We seem to be getting just... more, more, more. Fucking dead person, go away. Thank you. Open this. I don't know if it's a dead person. It looks like a urine. A yearn. Are you, is that what you call it? Oh, same fucking thing. <laughs> tinder box. We get lots of. We get more tinder boxes than oil, so we may as well use a tinder box yep. even more often. So, do we now leave out through the way we came in? I assume so. I take it we do. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. You can do it. You know what you're doing. Oh, oh the you tree! Know. Diana! Oh, oh the God. tree fell down. He's down there. He's he's just. He's just, he's just chopping some trees down. Fuck that shit. Right. I guess we go around here now. And leave the area. I hope so. Well, I think so. I can't think of anything else to do in this area. No. It's so the back hall. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the ore of his one wood and apple and pondered on the strange happening. <laughs> Yay! So there's another door over here, apparently. Should we go and see what see what may? Guess who? We are, I guess, after all, I think. Unless we own the place. If we own the place, then fuck. Shit. Bowls, look at that. Oh, you prick. Oh, for good sake. My journals are gone. What would they want with my journal? Okay, he's lost his journal. Let's pick up this shit, because it was glowing a minute ago. That looks like an urn. See what I mean? Yeah, but there's lots of them, so... Maybe there's lots of dead people. So the previous people are trying to complete the game. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me... I fucked it, I think. I fucked that then. Well and truly. Yes, sir. Well, let's see. Let's open this one. Hopefully no more skulls come running out of it. That's cool. Someone's ransacked this place. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Oh dear. Cool. So, uh, Ab Abdullah. Interesting name. <laughs> Let's um, walk over into here. The music, though, the music. Tinderbox! The most exciting thing to find in this game, it really is. Mm -hmm. We have one of these. I'm going to open the doors in preparation because you never know, we might need it. Can I look inside of anything? Nope. Let's close those. This will be nice and clean and tidy. Let's put the book over there. Oh, almost in that the drawer. Al that almost was, wasn't it? That was almost. Tinderbox. Absolutely sexual. And that thing's glowing. That is glowing. And another Crowbar. note as well. Crowbar. 3rd of July. 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. 
I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Ooh. I don't know if I could do with a drink. Shit painting anyway. And it's a pretty sense, yeah, that's cool. Right then, let's go to the other room on the other side. The broken lock, you damn bitch. Really? Yep. It's gonna move to me. Um, right, let's just um, go out right here. There's nothing else we can do in here, then, really? Seriously? Obviously not. We've got the crowbar. Ah, it's true. Fuck it, then. Let's go. Leave visit an area. Oh, dear. Yeah. Somebody panted heavily. And I wonder if there's any more rooms we need to explore in this area than before we go into the lift. You never know, that. Eh? Mm. Down we go, then. It's all peaceful music here, isn't it? It's quite nice. Maybe you can't get here. Maybe not. Maybe just stay here, then. Fuck it. We can lay in the, in the fountain. <laughs> Storage oh, room. Yeah. We go into here next then. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. This is more doom and gloom. That is for sure. In the box. Gotta light it up. Cool, what is in here? I don't think there's anything in there. Tinderbox, though. Over this way. Oh, I'm scared. It's fucking ways everywhere, isn't it? I mean, this is dark as anything. There's ways to go in all directions. I think the door is probably the best bet. Ow. <laughs> yeah, let's go in here. Oh, it's dark. It is dark. Tinderboxes. But shiny. Oh! Torch out! Torch out! Torch out! Fork! Oh, fucking hell! Diana! Stay still! Stay still! I am still. Oh my god. Ah! Don't go at me! Cock! I can see his oh He's missing me! Oh, my sasa. What are you doing? He's missing me. What a prick. <laughs> Come on, go away. Look at this one. <laughs> I know, look. He's got his, like, his, his shit going up his ass. I think he's glitched. Do you think so? I don't want to move just in case he hasn't. I think maybe the light. Hi there, matey boy. I think the mayor's will let him kill us. Can you press the wild key to move forwards? Because we may as well. We may as well let him kill us. Try again. You yeah, prick! I went to grab the box and everything. How did he see us? Do not venture too far. Well, what do you mean to do? Go back to the start? <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> you, you're the one that made me jump. I do apologise. Are we okay? I don't know. It respawned us here. Let's put barrel in front of us. The can door's we, closed. Can we put the torch on and, and just get up on our, on our main feet a minute? Our main feet. Yeah, uh, off of our secondary feet, as in the knees. 
You know my logic is correct. Don't don't question it. <laughs> what's on the other side of the room anyway? Before we go out there, what's on the other side? The box. That's fantastic. I can't believe it actually let us respawn with him. I can't believe it. Yeah, I don't know why he saw us. Because you turn off the light and we stood behind the thing. Maybe because you moved to one side. It's like, <gasps> I ran. Nice. Maybe. Boot. He's, um, yeah, I spooked him. He came over and started thrusting his knob on our face, and then turned around. But then around. turned around and he was he was doing he was what's the what's the thing that you shake your ass? What's it called? Twerking. That's the one he was twerking. <laughs> I couldn't think what it was then. I don't twerk. Anyway, let's turn off the torch, minute and open the door slowly, and let's see. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's have a look outside. <gasps> I think all is good. Alright, torch on. Nope, go backwards, go backwards, walk backwards, slowly, 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 slowly. He's right fucking there. Power protect me. I think we can go out there now. I don't know why I was whispering then. I think, I think we can go back out there now. Before we get too freaked out. Let's go around to the torch lights, I think it's okay. I think he's just walked by. Come on, Dion. We're gonna get freaked out too much for staying here. Come on, it's a torch light. It's a candle. Come on. Let's just wait here and let's calm down. Let's calm our tits down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We've had a good look at him, though, haven't we? <laughs> let's be honest. It's supposed to like, be like a little secret sort of enemy shit thing you can't kill. We've had a pretty good look at him. I mean, all over his ass and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. Right, so we turn our torch on and walk into the next area because we're bound to have more shit to do around here. Let's get back up on our feet. Let's go. Come on. We can do this. Down here. He went down here. Yeah. Doesn't mean he's down anymore, though. He keeps patrolling around to see. He's wandering like a bitch. We need to get some torchlight on in here because it's a bit too dark at the moment. Torch one over there. Yeah. I wish this thing would fucking chill out with this blurriness. It's hard to see shit. Right, we have plenty of doors. There we go. I think he's calmed down now. Should we go for this one first? What is in here? In the box. Good find. Good find, my good friend. Good find. Let's door over here next. We can we can tank it. It's okay. We can do this. All this shit is dead end. Oh my god. I mean, box down here. Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh. a little bit closer, please. A little bit further back, please. <laughs> Come on, further back. There we go. Back on our feet. There we go. Over here. Box. Never did the box. It's being friendly to us now, look. The game was like, yeah, okay, that's a dick move. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That's a dick move. Hasn't turned the boxes. Door over there. Was there another pathway down to our left? Go around this way. There was. Let's do this door next then. We're okay. We found a tinder box. And a note. Tinder box first. Because tinder box doesn't usually attract enemies. Tinder box, tinder box, tinder box, tinder box, tinder box. Note. I get up out. Cool. Anything else in this room? Come on, move around a little bit. Let's have a look. Shit! There we go. Hang on, have we got more shit? We have. Yeah, we have one. We haven't, haven't got much, right? Let's just run out of here before uh, run. run. I turn the light. I turn the light off again. There you go. Don't need to use it here. Run over here. We have to be careful of our shit. We have to use it here, though. Unfortunately. Yeah, the drill bit. We can turn it off now. Apparently not. Turn this one on as well. Now I can turn it off. Right, he shouldn't fuck with us because we just turn on the can, so we can't really do shit if he comes in. We've cleared yeah, out the area. said if I keep turning on the torch or the candles on, that he can find us. Yeah, but he shouldn't do. We have to turn it on again now, though. He shouldn't do, because if we go into a room where it has candles that you can put on, 
you shouldn't come into that room because you're fucked. You can't sit in the dark. You should only do it in rooms that you can't have candles to turn on. Otherwise, the game is just fucking with you. Mm. We're gonna go down there now. Oh, fucking hell. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! Cool, okay. It's. You're okay. Yeah, yeah, torch one here then. Turn this shit back on. Door there. Fuck it now. Can't go in there then. Let's turn this on. A little bit closer. So we can't go in here because that's blocked. Oh, there's a tinderbox there. <laughs> so it's worth coming down here, wasn't it? Yes. Up we go then. So this is a dead end. We've got a bare story. On. The last place to check. Oh, we've been in there. So we've done everything here, then, haven't we? Looks like it. We must have done. Mhm. Mm we must have done everything. Lights off. And through the door we go. Back to the hall. Okay, I think we're making progress. I can't think of anything else worth doing there. We might have to go back there, but I can't think there's anything else for us to do. To be honest, we must have everything we need now, surely. Do you want to press the journal a minute? With the J button. And... Rubble from the caving is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Fuck. The lock is broken. Find a way to open the closet door in the guest room. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Okay, let's um... So maybe there's a few more things for us to need to do, but I can't figure out yet. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Back in the peaceful place, anyway. So we should Music just... doesn't sound peaceful. Is it not? I did before. Oh, it's doing more shit. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Cool. I guess we're making progress because now giving us that little piece of shit as we came back here. Yeah. So if we go back down here, maybe we got to go in that other door to the side, or maybe through the elevator. Uh, this is our ultimate goal, right? I think so. So maybe we have to go through here. Bitch. Can't do that yet then. Hmm. I guess we can't do this either, can we? Okay, so now we're gonna go back to somewhere. We've not got to shut the doors first, you see. Can't reach that one. Sorry. No, I think so. Can't reach that. No. Go into the inventory a minute and see if we've got anything worthwhile. Part of a broken drill. We got a drill bit. Part of a broken hand drill. We're finding parts for a hand drill. That's okay. what we're doing. Okay, we've got to go back into some one of those rooms. There must be something we missed. Tab out. Let's go. There's something we've missed down there that we got to go and check out. I believe. You see. And yeah, we'll get there. I'm sure we'll get there. We must do. I fucking hope, anyway. <laughs> Shitey, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's what we have time for in this episode. We will see you on the next one as we continue on. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you then. Bye. Okay. okay. No, we're not! Get Deanna, move back! Deanna! <laughs> Deanna! Stop it! Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move.